Let's go. It's the meat event, and you see the text. It's another absolute meat locker, and uh, you know I just can sense like the MMA community finally breathing a sigh of relief at the fact that Aspen Ladd has finally ditched the 135 division, is making her way up to 145 on short notice in a meat event slot to take on Norma Dumont, but. She's absolutely due. She's coming into this one angry. We've seen her issues at the scales at 135. And, uh, you know, truthfully, it's a brutal sight to see her cut that weight. So I am so stoked that she's finally going to make, um, you know, make up that difference, head up to 145. And it's a great evenly matched contest against Norma Dumont, who is 6-1, and one, coming in on a nice two-fight win streak. Uh, but we're pretty bullish on Aspen Ladd in this one. What are your thoughts? How do you see Aspen getting this one done? Do you think the move up to 145 uh, is going to, you know, really let her elevate her game? And uh, what sort of threats do you see Norma Dumont posing, if any? What do you got? Yeah, I I really like this fight. Um, I think Aspen Ladd is going to be a massive uh, Aspen Ladd in this division. I mean, I think she's going to come in there juiced to the gills, full, not not dehydrated, not almost falling over the scale. I think she's going to be right in her element, and she's going to figure out wow, this is a division I need to be in. I think she was kind of trying to avoid, uh, you know, going up there because there's not as many active fighters. It's not as big as a division. Um, but I think, you know, everyone knew this was, it was, you know, matter of time. She almost passed out every time making that brutal cut. She is just a burly, corn-fed woman <laughs> and she is just shredded so she's all muscle she's a big girl i think she's going to dominate um she's going to manhandle this woman and uh, i feel a little bad for the immortal because this is going to be a one-sided aspen mauling if you remember that fight against tanya evinger she just absolutely brutalized her right she made it ugly she was you know screaming her lungs out with those vicious ground and pound and she was fighting very angry and uh, I anticipate that is how she fights against Norma Dumont, uh, you know, especially just given all those challenges she's seen recently. And now knowing she doesn't need to cut those 10 pounds, she can simply focus on de developing and refining her, her craft and not worrying about the fight before the fight on the scales. And you mentioned that the 145 division is pretty shallow. It's pretty empty, but, you know, it seems like the UFC has been trying to shut that thing down for a minute, but. It's simply because, you know, no one's came through and, you know, been able to present any real challenges to the Lioness. I mean, Jermaine Duranime, we saw absolutely starch Aspen Ladd the last time Aspen fought in a meet event. But Jermaine Duranime got smashed by uh, by the champ, by Nunes. So I think that the, this type of fresh blood, if Aspen Ladd can just dominate Norma Dumont in a way that we know she's capable of, perhaps she gets an immediate title shot at 45 uh, entices Lioness to make that fight or make that fight at 145 because seems like she's doing most of her work at bantamweight these days, but because there's no opponent for her. So I'm hopeful that Aspen Lack can get this one done, and we're pretty bullish that she does. She's a minus 144 favorite, and for some context, initially this main event was supposed to be Holly Holm versus Norma Dumont, and Holly Holm was like a minus 220 favorite. So uh, it'd be interesting to see Aspen Lad versus Holly Holm, and that was a fight that was scheduled not long ago, but. Uh, if you think that Aspen Ladd would have some success versus Holly Holm, then you're getting juicy odds at minus 144. So, and so we're going to be throwing down 270 at minus 144, and it's going to net 187.50. Should get us our 34th meat lock. And shout out to Randy Brown for clutching it for us last weekend. You know, even uh, if Holmrek and Knee Knocker or anyone is, you know, down the meat lock, sometimes, you know, most of the time we're coming through for the boys. And at minus 144, I think that Aspen Ladd is some juicy beef in this one. I like her to get the finish. Are you as bullish on that stoppage as well? Do you think that this is an angry Aspen that manages to submit or TKO Dumont? Yeah, I think this is going to be a ground and pound uh, mauling. Um, a submission wouldn't be surprising, but I think it's going to be a TKO ground and pound. With you all the way, it's another absolute meat lock, boys. Uh, we're going with Aspen Ladd. We think she gets the finish in this one over the Immortal. And, uh, you know, as far as I know, there's only one Immortal. That's Matt Brown. So take Aspen Ladd to the grill and get the bill.